It's literally snowing so much today. Hi everyone. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a what's in my phone, which was actually recommended to me by one of my subscribers. So I will put her up here. Thank you so much for this video idea. I'm gonna make this intro pretty short, but like I've always wanted to film a what's in my iPhone video, but I feel like I have an iPhone 8, so I thought that like, like no one has that phone anymore but i was like thinking about it i'm like why should i care so yeah i'm making what's in my iphone video i'm super excited so let's just get into it okay so this is the outside of my phone this phone case is from aliexpress it's the dupe of the wildflower latte love phone case i wasn't gonna spend like 40 dollars on a phone case so this one's pretty good i'll link it down below along with like everything else that's relevant and then here is my phone i'm gonna take it out of the case it's the iPhone 8 Plus in color gold. It's like a really pretty like rosy pale pink that I really wish they would put in their like newer phones, but this one's special. I really like this color. And yeah, this is the lock screen, sorry. And then I just have like this really nice pretty like background. It's very like calming and it just says the whole future lies in uncertainty, live immediately. Now I'm gonna unlock it with a home screen. Don't really see that that often these days, but here it is. This is my home screen. So I have like a widget for the iOS 14. So basically it will like show just like random like important things. So here are the Apple apps that I just have that I use a lot. So I have calendar, photos, FaceTime, camera, Google Maps, clock, notes, app store, and then this is a folder of like all the random Apple apps that I use sometimes and I just put it in like this one folder. And this is like my health folder. I have my health life sum this is for like tracking my calories i didn't track them today and then i have clue this is my period tracker and then settings and calculator and then the bottom is like those really important apps so i just have my phone like calling email there's a lot of like unread emails i'm so sorry about that if that bothers you but a lot of it is just spam and then i have google and my iMessages. so next Oh yeah, now you can see my background. My background is like a collage of like, just like pretty pictures and Bella Hadid looks really nice here. She looks so pretty. And I usually change up my like wallpaper every so often just to like refresh the mood. I like to separate all my apps like depending on category. So it's just like more organized. And so the first category is, this is like productivity slash school slash self care. So I have Google Documents, Google Home, Google Drive. Okay, so then I have Pinterest. I love Pinterest. It's very like calming and just like makes, I just love Pinterest. And then I have Forest. This is a like app for like um, productivity. So basically you plant trees and you set like a time for like how long you want to study for or like not focus on something else. And like, for, sorry, for example, you can do it for 30 minutes and then you can just like, you're basically locked out of your phone for 30 minutes and you can like do your homework or something. You can even like study with your friends, which is really cool. So yeah, this is a really good app for like productivity and doing homework. And then I have Spotify, Time Block. Time Block is a really good one to like structure your day and just like time, basically time blocking your day. So yeah. And then Minimalist is like a note taking app. You just have to like pull down and just write down some notes center you can delete it and like yeah it's really cool you can just make like i just make random lists on this app so. so next is just like my youtube folder so i have google photos youtube which is what you're watching right now subscribe and then iMovie i used to always use iMovie when i edit on my phone and then i have youtube studios pickmonkey to like create my thumbnails and then fonto to add text to my thumbnails so yeah and then next is just like my kind of shopping folder. So I have my wallet, Sephora, YesStyle, Starbucks, Uber Eats. I've been using this a lot lately. Ticketmaster, Amazon, AliExpress, and Depop, which I am a seller on Depop. So if you wanna like follow me and like buy some stuff, it really helps. And I just have PayPal and TD Canada. We're bank. 
I'm gonna talk a little bit about today's sponsor, Goth Math. Thank you so much for sponsoring me. Goth Math is built to help students with all kinds of different math problems from grade one to grade 12. It includes math problems from SAT, ACT, IB. So personally, I use Goth Math a lot now that I'm taking calculus this quadmester. Calculus is a really really tough course so this helps so so much you can download it on the app store and google play so after you download it on your phone you just need to pull up the app and then it'll just say hi solve a math problem and then you can scan a picture of like your math problem for example i'm gonna scan one of my problems for my calculus class right now so you just press scan and then you can just take one like this i'm literally out of the frame my computer is right here it to the question I want. It will scan it and correct and then they'll just link you with a real life tutor to help you with your problems which is the coolest thing ever. Depending on the difficulty of your problem it might take a while. It's usually around like one to ten minutes which is like really really fast and it just shows you like see it shows you the entire the solutions and it's really amazing really helpful tool actually and well done. Well done. So if you're interested in downloading Goth Math, I'll have all of the information down in the description below. So yeah, thank you again to Goth Math for sponsoring today's video. I will continue on. And then this folder is like my social media folder. This is the only social media I have. So I have WeChat, which is to literally only talk to my grandma and like my Chinese friends and I have Twitter. I sometimes go on Twitter. Instagram, I use Instagram so much. This is my account. You should follow me if it will load. Okay, it finally loaded. You should follow me. I have followers. This is for my personal account to see like who unfollowed me. And I have Netflix and Prime Video. So this is like studying kind of like school. So I have Facebook for my Facebook like groups for clubs, Messenger for my clubs. Photo math, goth math. I also have Google Classroom and Google Translate for my French class. And now this is just like photos for Instagram and stuff. So I made who, which is like every Chinese girl's like photo retouching app. I have Snow, Lightroom, Snapseed, Retouch, and Preview, which is to like organize my feed for my Instagram, which is really cool. And it's free too. And then I have just like random stuff. It's just like reading i have libby which is an app for your library it's like online library which is really cool you can like get a bunch of ebooks for free and it's my school app and then this is my last one my last folder it's games this is basically just a folder for my brother except for episode episode is like my favorite game to play ironically because it's just fun to laugh at all the characters and then i have the face app it's just really fun to morph people's faces together Roblox, troll my brother. Subway Surfer is for my brother when we have no Wi-Fi. And then Minecraft. And then BitLife, which is like also just a really fun but like time-wasting app. But yeah, so that's all. That's all my phone. So yeah, that's the end of today's video. I hope you found some really cool apps you want to try out. I had really fun filming this, so yeah. If you have any more video suggestions, please comment them down below. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!